You can create a timeline using an XY scatter graph in Excel. You'll start with a table that includes columns for dates, descriptions, and a position placeholder. You can enter the date of each event or milestone, as well as a label as it will appear on your timeline. Your events don't have to be in any particular order in the table, but if it helps you keep organized, you could format your table as an official Excel table, and then you can sort the table by date. The position column will affect how far right or left each marker will appear on your chart. You'll probably end up adjusting this later, so to start you can just put arbitrary values between negative 100 and 100. When your event table is filled out, you can create the chart by selecting the date column and the position column, then go to insert scatter chart and choose the option that doesn't have any lines. At this point, you have a horizontal timeline. To make the timeline vertical, you need to switch the X and Y axes. The easiest way to do this is by selecting the data series within the chart and editing the series in the formula bar. You can swap the order of the two references to put the date values on the vertical axis. Next, you can take a minute to clean some things up. You can delete the grid lines, both the vertical and the horizontal ones. Then for the horizontal axis, you can change the minimum to negative 110 and the maximum to positive 110. And then you can go ahead and delete the axis. Now you can add lines that connect the markers to the timeline axis. To do that, you'll select the chart and click the plus icon. Then choose error bars, more options. In the drop down under error bar options, be sure that you have the X error bars selected. Then choose minus, so it only shows the line going in towards the timeline axis. The error bars don't need a cap, and you can set the error amount to 100%. Next, you can format the lines. Under the bucket, you can style it with a new color, a width, and a dash type. You can style the markers themselves by selecting the data series, and then going to the bucket menu and choosing marker. Here you can change the marker style and the size, as well as the fill color and the border color. Now that the markers are ready, you can add the description of each event. To do that, right-click on the data series and select Add Data Labels. If you select one of the labels and then open the Label Options menu, you can select Value from Cells and select the Event Descriptions from your table. Uncheck the Y value unless you want to include the date as part of the event label. For the label position, you can choose Above. Next, you could style the vertical axis. You can set a minimum boundary by typing the date you'd like to start the chart on. You can update the major units to specify how often there will be a tick mark, and then choose which style of tick mark that you like. Checking the values in reverse order box will put the earliest events at the top of the timeline instead of the bottom, if that makes more sense to you. Depending on the size of your chart and how many events you have, you could be done here, or you might have a little styling work to do if things are looking too busy. You can adjust the horizontal position values to move the markers out of each other's way if things are getting too crowded. If you like, you can give the text a white background color with about 25% transparency. That will make it still legible if it's overlapping other areas of the chart. You can always resize or move individual labels that aren't quite in the right place. While we're on the topic of styling, you may have a label that you want to call special attention to, and you can do that on the Home tab just as you would with text in a normal cell. And last but not least, you can go ahead and add a title by either typing it directly, or in the formula bar you can type equals and then select a cell where the title is written. So that is how to create a vertical timeline in Excel. Check out vertex42.com for a written guide on creating this timeline and to download this template. Check out our other videos about making different kinds of timelines in Excel.